Welcome, my name is Timothy Anete. You know, um, recently there has been a change in some of the Facebook ad campaign interface. You know, if you have paid attention, except you are not um, someone who has been advertising consistently, you would have seen that there have been serious changes in the ad manager. Basically, the, ob uh, the objectives have changed. They rearranged, renamed, and uh, restructured how the uh, ad objectives are, you know. So I just want to explain to you and um, how these new objectives work if you are going to be using them based on uh, your project. Yeah, to start with, first of all, um, we are going to go to the create, you know, basically, before now, you would have known that this we are not like this. The awareness was there. Now, before now, you will see that we had awareness reach, uh, awareness and reach on the same place. And then we had message objective, which you can find, you can find message objective here. And where you have cells here used to be conversion, stalls and all that but now they rearranged the entire thing and uh, made it in a way that if you are not careful you will waste your money and you will waste your efforts so that's actually why i am here to explain to you what to do the right awareness to work with based on the ad objective, all right? Sorry, the right um, campaign objective to work with based on your campaign goals. Yeah, now that's the right way to say it, based on your campaign goals. All right, so basically, basically here, under awareness, if you just want to um, make your brand a, bit, a little bit known, um, for instance, if you are Coca-Cola or Guinness, yeah, so to say, um, and you've had so much money. <laughs> At that point, you have so much to spare and allow it to, you know, just create awareness. But 99% of business people I have interacted with who said, I want awareness, actually did not want awareness. They wanted sales. All right? But they mistook it for awareness meaning that they will tell you i just want people to know my i want to create awareness for my business no they want to place their business in the eyes of those who can buy but they just didn't know how to say it now i know you probably one of them because i you, if you are watching this video it's obvious you are not as big your business is not as big as coca-cola guinness um even banks don't just do awareness campaigns they campaign with a particular goal, which in turn is to capture a lead so they can progress with their marketing um, communication. All right. So now if you are going to be using awareness, so you should first of all understand that you are creating a reach, you are creating brand awareness, you are going for video views. And then you are telling people where your store locations, uh, where your store location is. For instance, um, if you have physical stores in, say, let's say, okay, in Lagos, you have in Surulere, you have in Lekki, maybe phase one and phase two, you have in Victoria Island, you have in um, Aja, you have in Ibeju, and maybe you have in Ikeja, you have in. Um, in Okaja, you have in bigger so different locations so you can create store location awareness and then you can also do video views um, basically for for those people who do skits yeah skit makers can do well by using these for their video views if you are trying to create um awareness for your skits you know and then brand awareness yeah that one you just want people to um, see your brand 
get to know K, for instance, um, if I want to create a brand for my e-commerce brand, Jara Day, um, like I want it to get established in your mind, Jara Day, but maybe I'm not looking for sales. Maybe I just have 50,000 naira that I am not using. I just use it to create that awareness campaign, basically brand awareness campaign. So you can just get to see a brand name like Jara Day and, uh, you know, wouldn't have um, any reason to make purchases just to see if you can remember the brand again. All right. Now, the second one is traffic. You know, there is something very dicey here that you must pay attention to. This is not something you should joke with. They have brought in WhatsApp and Messenger under traffic. All right. Now, before now, we had message objective independently. But now you can see you have link clicks, landing, landing page views, Messenger and WhatsApp, then calls. So which means that traffic originally when the idea of traffic was to send people to your websites that was the primary idea of traffic camp traffic objective earlier on when it was um in the classic uh, interface all right before they made this new interface so at this point I am strongly going to advise you if you want to create a message campaign. That is, you want to send people to your WhatsApp or Messenger. I am not going to advise you to go with traffic objectives. No. If your campaign goal, if your campaign goal is to get WhatsApp conversation or messenger conversation. Don't choose traffic. Now, link clicks is good. You send them to your website, you send them to your landing page. Now, when you are using traffic, if you have a landing page, I will always advise you optimize for landing page views, right? Optimize for landing page views rather than just um, optimizing for clicks okay so optimize for landing page views and then under your engagements here is where you will see whatsapp messenger and instagram now take a look which stays as the number one the top among these options now you can see that Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp take the number one position. Um, video views, post engagement, conversions. Now this is simple. If you are creating messaging campaign, that is if you, are, if you want to get people from Facebook or you want to get people from Instagram to send you a message either on Instagram or on WhatsApp or on Messenger. This is the most recommended option. Now, I have tested all this. I don't just do videos. I don't do videos. Once there is a change in any system that I am using, before I bring to your knowledge, I must spend time. This thing has been in existence for more than three months now. I didn't want to be in a haste to make this video. You know, I have to spend a little time to truly understand this, get unique tests of this, and eventually measure the conversion and then come up with this video for you to also learn from my experience. All right. If you must send people to WhatsApp, do this. Go for engagement campaign go go for engagement objectives all right and then optimize for whatsapp conversation or if you want to do um instagram message but then i always advise send them to whatsapp 
it's um, way better. It's way better. It's way better. All right. So um, the second one is the, the fourth one, rather, leads. Fourth one is leads. Okay. So instant forms. Instant forms, messenger conversions. Instant forms, messenger conversions, calls. Now, there is something about there's something um about leads at the moment. You know, leads can also be sent to a website. It can also be an instant form directly um existing within the Facebook community. And then it can also be a direct messenger. And at the same time, it can be a direct call. So if you want to do um click to call kind of campaign, kind of ad, you know. I will uh the the most recommended one is leads, right? Click to call. If you must do click to call, the recommended one is leads. Okay, so that is the one I will recommend for you. But for instant form, yeah, leads as well. Messenger, you can as well um use lead if you want to do messenger um immediate contact. But if you are trying to do conversions, don't use leads. If you are creating conversion ads, don't use leads. Now, there is something about Nigerians, especially those in the e-commerce sector, those who are running e-commerce, not the likes of um, Jumia and Conga that you know are large scale that have um, up to a million dollars because there are investors in their, in, their, um, in their business, all right? They can spend as much as $1 million dollars um, monthly for their ad campaigns. They have people who are investing um, into the business. All right. But basically, if you must um, create campaign, so what I will advise you to do, if you must create conversion campaigns, come to sales. Now, in, co in conversion, I'll come down to that. In conversions, there are two things, leads and purchase. Now, this is it. Nigerian e-commerce, especially the not so big e-commerce uh, business owners, do not understand that what they record as purchase is actually not purchase in any way. Now they actually record purchase interest. Two things: there is a purchase interest, and there is a purchase. Now. The people who created now the system, the Facebook, the meta, the meta owners who created this system created this based on their location experience, their geographical experience, meaning that an average citizen of US or okay, let's start with the U United States, the, the citizen of United States are comfortable putting down phones. They are comfortable clicking and making payments online. Yeah, quite all right. They are comfortable clicking and making payments for their e-commerce products directly online. All right, but an average Nigerian has that trust issue. You know, the Nigerian system has messed up with people's mind in, when it comes to trust. You know, you've seen things like what I ordered versus what I get. That has made the people who want to buy things online would always demand for payment on delivery. Of course, all thanks to Jumia and Conga who brought that idea into the mind of people. And you know, Nigerians, it's hard to take out what you have started. It's like when things go up in Nigeria, it has never come down. So when people, when you use an event that is purchased, when you use a purchase event and um, you decide to optimize for purchase, at the end of the day, what you are getting is not purchased because no one paid online. That I'm talking about those in the e-commerce. If you are selling digital products that people will pay, it is very okay to use the purchase event. But if you are using pay on delivery e-commerce products, Please don't optimize for purchase. Use lead. Use lead. Because they are filling a form that you need to call. 
They are filling a form. You need to get in touch with them. They are not paid. You have not made sales. It's not confirmed. You know, there are processes. You have to call. Some will say, I'm not ready. And no, I traveled. Don't send it yet. Send it later. And some would even ask you to send. And then you will send. It will get there. And they will not come forth to receive it. You know, these things are some of the things you need to put into consideration when measuring your um, campaign goals, all right? When trying to picture out your campaign goals, you need to put out all these into consideration, right? Okay, so under the leads, you know what you want to do. You want to, you want to capture immediate email, immediate um, name. You can use the existing form on the Facebook. You want them to immediately send a message on Messenger, you can as well use the lead. You want to optimize for calls, all right? Let them just click and call you from your ad. You can as well do that using leads. Now, this particular one here is for app installation. It's actually very self-explanatory, all right? Promote app promotion. Um, promote for app installs. For instance, if you have an app and you are trying to look for users, um, so you can use this particular one to gain more users who will download and install your app. And um, at the same time, app events as well can be created there. And then this is where, check this. Now you see when we had leads, conversions stayed second to the last. Now when we have sales, conversions stays top on the list. Now, these are not by mistake. They didn't arrange this by mistake, right? This was not arranged by mistake. It means that this is what the conversion is the primary essence of this particular objective. Now, you know, under conversions, you can optimize for purchase or, I mean, the, purchase, the events can be for purchase or it can be for leads, all right? Then catalog sales, you know, you can also optimize catalog um, sales. So if you want, if you have a website that you want to make direct sales, whether you are doing a digital product or physical products. So conversion is one of the most recommended one that you should use and send people to your, to your um, website for the purchase. Of course, you must have set up your pixel before you can effectively um, do this, all right? I know you probably have seen a video that um, I did on how you can set up your pixel. You should, of course, um, understand that, how you set up your pixel before you um, get to set up your events, okay? At the same time, there is a um, catalog. Okay, sorry, there is a message, Messenger and WhatsApp as well. There is Messenger and WhatsApp. You can see Messenger and WhatsApp stays I mean, um, second to the last, second to the last. Now, what this is supposed to mean is that this objective was not primarily done for WhatsApp conversion, all right? Now, this is supposed to be tracked based on your website um, with the pixel installed. So if you use, if you optimize this for WhatsApp message or messenger, you are going to end up spending much and then getting very low conversion. So that is why I would advise you for every WhatsApp message ad campaign, optimize it. I mean, create the ad using engagement campaign. All right? Create your ad using engagement campaigns. Okay. So I believe you have been able to understand the new interface and uh, the difference between this new interface and the old one you had um, and how to navigate it so that you don't end up wasting your effort. All right, my name is Timothy Anetia. And like I always ask, do me just one favor. If you are new on this channel, click on subscribe, click on like, and please share this video.
that is the only help I need from you. It will encourage me to bring you more videos some other time.